Squatters taking over a Detroit home after the homeowner passed away, and now his children are left with a huge water bill, a bill now reaching almost $8,000. So they reached out to help me, Hank. Our concern investigator, Hank Winchester, reports tonight from Detroit's west side. You can see the damage right there. Someone, possibly squatters, manipulating this water line, keeping the water flowing in this west side home after the homeowner passed away. His surviving children now stuck with a massive bill, and they just don't know what to do. The Brown family called this home on Littlefield in Detroit home for years. But recently, Philip Brown, the home's owner, passed away. His children dealing with probate and also dealing with squatters. His daughter, who lives out of state, reached out to me, concerned about an outrageous water bill. I spoke with her today via FaceTime. It's just been so stressful. I mean, you know, I've been having to deal with my father's dad. I had to um, deal with squatters. The family still grieving, dealing with a lot of legal issues regarding the house, and now dealing with this big bill. I was dumbfounded. I mean, I, I could not believe that this bill was over $7,000. Even though it's pretty obvious somebody manipulated the water line right here, DWSD says, listen, here's the deal. Squatters may have moved in. It's not our responsibility. If you want the water off, don't call us. You need to go through the court system. And as you can imagine, the time it takes for that to happen could cause the bill to keep ticking up. If it's occupied, that raises the specter of private, private issues going on, and we refer people to the court system. So what's the better option? Get the police involved, work to get them out of the dwelling right away, and then DWSD will shut that water off. If they truly are squatters and you can get the police to, to take action, then we can shut the water off. So we did get an update from DWSD within the last hour. They did send a crew over there to that home to make sure the water is in fact off. It is today. They are now reaching out to the family to try to take a good look at this bill, figure out exactly what they can do. And we're also working with the family to get some of the uh, wheels in motion regarding the legal process for all of this. But as you can imagine, living out of state, it makes it even more complicated. But we're working with them to resolve this once and for all. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. Well, hey, anybody that finds themselves in this uh, very strange situation, what do you do? What's your course of action? And, and Devin, you know, I really thought the first call would be to DWSD, you know, mm -hmm. let them know mm -hmm. that the water line had been manipulated. But they say no. The quickest action is to get the police involved, and the police can work with DWSD. Uh, basically, it all just comes down to them crossing T's, dotting I's to make sure that they're dealing with the proper owner of that property. Oh, so police would be the first call. Okay, Back okay. to you. Yeah, noted. All right, what a mess. All right, Hank. Yeah.